the legend that is Wayne Swinsco, and he's going to talk us through Bait Tech's new Omen ground bait. It's basically come around from developments in the carp angling, the speci side of things, where carp anglers were using certain flavours and they were, they were finding that they were getting plagued by skimmers and bream, obviously not what they're looking for. We've harnessed these flavours and developed it into a ground bait and Wayne's been using it for some time with a massive success. It's a perfectly new ground bait with, with new flavours and it's absolutely superb. And it's different from anything else, that's basically I think why it's so good. When you open the packet it doesn't smell that pungent, but as you mix it up and add water to it, the smell increases. So it, it just lets out a fantastic aroma. Plus there's all sorts of particles in it, not fine particles, not, not fish filling particles, you know. And the fish just seem to home in on it. Are they really different from a normal bream ground bait then? Totally different. This is really garlicky flavours. Right, right, okay. Something new to bream fishing. Sure. And bream of all sizes, whether it be small bream, skimmers, you know, up to, you know, hefty specimens, really home in on it. It's going on towards, you know, a, not a fish mealy type ground bait, but it's getting that way. Yeah. And it's having the same effect as probably, but I think everything's had fish meal for quite a few years now, and this seems to be the next stage. I've used it on commercials and I've used it in rivers where, where I've targeted skimmers and it's worked every time. Why do you think it is that the, these new flavours are being so dominant at the moment? So anything new in the fishing game seems to have a good effect, you know. Fish just seem to like changes. It's like when you, you know, you're fishing somewhere with pellets and then they and the fish go off then they go on to meat and I just think it's like, I just think we've found a, a real good flavour that fish like. It's so easy to mix up as well. You know, a lot of people nowadays mixed ground bait with drills and things like that. But when you say you're only going feeder fishing like we're probably going to do today, you can just do it by hand just as easy. And if you want to really nullify it so there's no particles that's going to be floating about like bream want to be, want to be down on the bottom. Sure. A good way of mixing it is the night before or even mixing it and, and putting it in the freezer so when it freezes it draws all the moisture through. Right, so every every individual particle yeah. is then and it'll lay more fully... It'll lay more dormant and then you'll have none coming off the bottom and the, the bream will just sweep over it low. Superb. Right, we'll put a, a full bag in. These, which, are two, these are two kilo bags. Yeah, so. two kilo bags. This is enough. You know, you could you could sort of use off this and uh, freeze off of it as well if yeah. you wanted to. If you look at them, all that particles in there, especially them small red pieces. You know, bream love anything red, and I think they just home in on this flavour and just all these particles. I can smell it now, and you, you think you said it, it gets now, stronger than and this? It gets stronger than this. Let's add some water. What we want to do with this ground bait is to mix it little and often sort of principle. Right. We want to get the texture right. Too much water, you'll dull it sort yeah. of thing. We want it to mix it up to what the needs of our fishing. It works for all types of fishing. Brilliant, brilliant. So basically what you're saying is if you're unsure, put a little bit less in, add it slowly, yeah. a little bit at a time. Just go and set a bit of kit up and just let it dry out. Right, right. And, and then come back to it and see what the texture's like, see if it's right sure. for what you want to do. Mix it up like this. But as you can see now, it's absorbing the water. Can you smell it? I can. It's unbelievable. So you can see them all them particles now. They're sweating those red ones are swelling with the water. When the fish come over it, they'll be able to sense this. This obviously keeps them grubbing around for ages, doesn't it? It does. I can't believe the smell. It's no. unbelievable. You can smell it really pungent right, yeah. from here. Yeah. You know. We should have smell -a vision on this. Yeah, we should. <laughs> see from the packet, we've got method feeders, cage feeders, balls of ground bait. Can this, this really do everything? Yeah, yeah, it can. Um, I've used it successfully on fen drains, which are shallow waters, which are good, you know, skimmer waters. Commercials where there's plenty of skimmers at places like Boston, they, the skimmers love it there. And even in the deep canals in Holland, you know, I've tried it over there and it's been successful. Right, fantastic. Especially on the Vaughan Canal, which is really heavy, heavily fish water, and the bream just love it. So it's almost like a new phenomenon in bream fishing there, it really? It is, yeah. And it's the word spreading as well. There's quite a few people beginning to get, you know, some successful well, using it. I know you don't want to spread the word that no, much. But, yeah. No, but, you know, yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be good. Absolutely. This should be absolutely perfect now. Transfer that from out there, riddle it off, and all the lumpy bits, just push it through, and it'll come out as a nice consistency, just ready to fish with. Most of that will just uh, go straight through, and you'll be left with a few lumpy bits. All the lumpy bits are, they're just the pieces that's, you know, the areas it's wetter. And all we'll do with that is just push it straight through. No waste whatsoever, everything will go through and we can use it. When you look at that now, it's all fluffy, absolutely perfect. And it breaks down immediately, it squeezes really well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, squeeze it and you can, you know, just sort of like go like that and it'll all just come, yeah. you know, absolutely fantastic. Amazing. And you can see all them particles in there you now. You can, yeah, absolutely. They've all they've actually expanded. It's amazing stuff, isn't it? It is, yeah, very good.
So with your ground bait ready now, all you're going to do is you literally add a few free particles, so maybe some corn, casters, a few softened micros maybe, yeah, micro, yeah. micro pellets. That goes through your feeder. The bream will come in over that, see the particles start feeding, you know, start feeding on the pellets or corn and everything, and we should get a bite reasonably quickly. Great stuff.